case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In Ivan Allen Company v. United States, a 1975 Supreme Court case, the central issue was whether the appreciated value of a corporation's readily marketable securities should be taken into account when determining if the corporation was subject to an accumulated earnings tax. This tax is imposed on corporations that accumulate earnings beyond their reasonable business needs, as the corporation must prove that the accumulation was not solely to avoid taxes on behalf of shareholders. The case involved the petitioner, Ivan Allen Company, a Georgia-based business specializing in selling office furniture and equipment. During fiscal years 1965 and 1966, they paid federal corporation taxes and reported taxable income. Additionally, the company issued both cash and stock dividends to shareholders, though less than their taxable income, less federal income taxes. The legal dispute revolved around whether idle current assets, particularly readily marketable securities, should be valued at cost or net liquidation value for the purpose of the accumulated earnings tax. The district court ruled for the former, while the Court of Appeals favored the latter. The Supreme Court eventually decided to take into account the fair market value of the securities' less expenses and resulting taxes, siding with the Court of Appeals. The taxpayer had to prove that profit accumulation met the business's reasonable needs, and idle current assets indicated the accumulation purpose. Readily marketable securities were easily convertible to cash for the corporation's needs. The Court of Appeals' judgment was affirmed as the taxpayer recorded market value and cost of securities on balance sheets, aligning with current practices. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.